Hey guys, Michael Kent here. Here's a very exciting horse named Alhambra Palace. Here is his run four starts ago at Ascot. You can see him in the navy blue colours coming to the outside very easily. Big galloping action on him. He's got a good turn of foot and he goes on here and wins very easily. So this sale had some 1,700 lots go through. We had the whole catalogue analysed with sectional data. We're looking for horses with a turn of foot, change up gear and sustain speed that will suit Australian racing conditions. And this horse meets all of our criteria. We had a very small shortlist and he was one we really wanted to buy. You can see why. So he has um, some really good form and yet he's only rated 81. So he's going to come here with a pretty low rating. They normally drop them about 10 to 15 points for coming to Australia. We feel he'll be able to go anywhere between a mile and 2,400 even further. He's a beautiful bodied horse, big, strong, good looking, sound horse. He's a three year old gelding who's had nine starts for two wins and two seconds. This is the main bit of form we're keen on. So this is the Melrose Handicap, uh, run at York in the end of August. It's a race worth £88,000, which is very big for Europe. It's a big three-year-old handicap. And there's some really important form lines here. Uh, our horse is back sitting last at the moment. Ends up running fifth beaten six lengths. Now, the winner is a very, very exciting horse named Middle Earth. He's in the uh, Burgundy Qatar Silks back last. He goes to the outside fence. He's now rated 108 Middle Earth. Uh, went to the St. Ledger, was seventh there, ran well, and then goes and wins a listed race by a whole length. Uh, but you see the whole field comes to the stand side rails or the outside fence where the ground was better. For some reason, A. Farragher, the jockey on our horse, goes all by, all by himself down the inside fence where the ground was way inferior. Now, that never works. Uh, you're all by yourself down there in the, you know, it was much worse ground. So for this horse to stick on and, and run fifth was huge. Uh, and some good form lines here. So the winner is now 108 rater. We're rated 81. The second horse named Denmark in the Coolmore Purple there. He, he goes to St. Ledger as well. He's a very smart horse. He was bought by Waller last night for 280. Uh, but he's a lead horse for Coolmore. No, thank you. And the fourth horse is Lordship, now rated 103, who we also bought last night. So... Some really good form lines. Had our guy been in the pack with the rest of the field, he runs much closer. Uh, he then goes and runs second, just beaten at Nottingham. Uh, so, look, he's got some great form lines. And above all else, he was recommended to me by William Haggis, uh, one of Europe's best trainers. I was his assistant for a year. And um, he had a lot of horses selling last night. And he said, this is one you have to buy. He's a big, strong, good-looking individual who's very sound. So um, we think he's perfect for Australia. He was well bought at 120. Uh, we had about 200 to spend on him. So really happy to buy him. Uh, we've partnered up with Australian Bloodstock. Uh, they liked him too. He passed all our vet checks. Uh, so he's a, he's a ripper. And uh, it'd be here sort of landed under about 330, I reckon. Uh, we'll do a final price. But um, yeah, beautiful horse. Uh, arrives out here in about four or five weeks. We'll give him a spell and then away we go. Thank you.